Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I wanted to do was talk about a designation that I'm actively pursuing and one that is extremely pertinent to those professionals within the commercial real estate space. And that is what's known as what exactly is a CCIM designation? So in this video, what we're going to go ahead and do is answer that question and then explain the different steps you have to take in order to achieve your designation. And at the end, I'll go over what the cost of the designation looks like and provide a recommendation about whether or not you should pursue it yourself. So if, before we dive into this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now that you've done that, go ahead and click and, uh, and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive right into this episode. All right. So what exactly is the CCIM designation? Well, the CCIM stands for Certified Commercial Investment Member, and it indicates a, a professional, a real estate professional, who's an expert in the disciplines of commercial and investment real estate. So think of it as a CPA or CFA within the commercial real estate space. You don't have to be a licensed real estate agent either in order to carry the designation. In fact, all you really need to be is a professional within the real estate industry. So think brokers, bankers, property managers, principals, etc. cetera. Uh, to qualify the for the designations, there's actually three things you have to do. One, there's an education component. Number two is a portfolio component. And then number three is the, the final exam, uh, the, the, the comprehensive exam that you need to pass in order to achieve your designation. So first, let's start off with the education component. The education components uh, consists of passing and completing four core classes. These core classes are CCIM or CCI 101, which is financial analysis for commercial real estate, where you go over various topics such as net present value, in, 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 uh, internal rate of return, et cetera. So you learn about the financial analysis piece of commercial real estate. Number two is the market analysis piece. So you do, you know, figure out demographics uh, and go through the site selection process of identifying uh, property that's right for a particular use. Number three is the user decision analysis. So determining whether or not a particular route is appropriate given certain conditions, whether buying a piece of commercial real estate or leasing a piece of commercial real estate is appropriate given all the variables that are, that are present within, within that particular scenario. And then finally, CCIM 104, uh, which I found very interesting as well, which is more in-depth investment analysis uh, for commercial real estate. So it kind of builds upon CCI, CCI 101 and kind of goes through the process of you know, more, uh, more in-depth analysis uh, for commercial real estate investing. Along with that, you have two additional courses that you must take, which is the ethics course. And you also have to take a course on negotiation, either preparing to negotiate or advanced negotiation workshop, which I found extreme value in. Uh, it kind of teaches you about figuring out the other party and, and how can you effectively negotiate a deal that's favorable for your clients. Um, so once you have the education piece taken care of, there's also the second piece of, of the puzzle, which is a list of qualifying uh, properties that you've worked on and creating a portfolio that you could then submit to the CCIM Institute. The portfolio uh, either must consist of three deals that you've worked on, uh, but they have to be over $30 million in volume for those three deals. It, number two, they could, or they could be 10 deals uh, with a volume of over $10 million. Or number three, it could be 20 deals that you've worked on with no dollar value requirement. Um, these usually you'd submit your portfolio to, to the CCIM Institute, and then they usually review and approve the portfolios roughly two months before the final exam. Now the final exam itself is typically one in the springtime, one in the fall. Um, and it allows you, uh, you also have the option to be able to take a, uh, refresher course, essentially two days before, uh, the, ex the exam, there's two, two preceding days from the exam is like a comprehensive course that kind of brings all the concepts together so that you, when you do take this, uh, the exam, your, 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 the, all the concepts are fresh within your mind and you have a better chance of actually completing the exam and, and passing it. So once you've gone through all that process, and you pass the exam, you go through the pinning ceremony where they give you the CCIM pin, and therefore you are a CCIM, which is a really exciting um, process, and I'm looking forward to becoming a CCIM as well. Typically, uh, the time frame for getting your CCIM ranges from, you know, as little as six months. If you're an experienced professional, you can just run through all the courses and all the requirements, 
all the way up to 10 years if it just takes you some time and you're doing more more residential than commercial deals and you're going back and forth it may take you as long as up to 10 years but typically it's within that one to three year range uh, that you see people completing their ccim designation as far as the cost associated with it uh, it's generally between that seven to ten or eleven thousand dollar range which is a significant amount uh, for people in particular if you're newer in the industry. So what I've been doing in order to kind of spread out the cost uh, over the course of the last two years is that I've been taking one course every six months. So two courses per year and the courses range from you know $1,400 to I think $1,800 if you're not a member of CCIM, uh, which I actually would encourage you to become a member of CCIM if you were a real estate professional. But those are kind of the range of prices for the courses. And then the final exam, you're looking at, you know, $350 to $375 plus the, the comprehensive course beforehand, you're looking at another additional $750 to $800 as well. So once you all that add, add all that up, you're looking at that $7,000 to $10,000 range. Now, determining whether or not the CCIM designation is right for you, I believe that if you're committed to being a real estate professional within the industry, it is very much something you should consider getting. Uh, the coursework that I've taken at the Institute is phenomenal. Uh, the, the teachers are absolutely gr great as well. And I learned a significant amount that I've actually been able to apply within my own business and better serve my clients. So now I understand what IRR is. I understand what net present value is. I can better give my clients the proper data in order to make the right decision for their business. And then particularly when you start dealing with more sophisticated investors and business professionals, these are the types of skills and knowledge that you're going to have to have in order to stay uh, on point with them and really gain their trust and be able to work on some of those deals that are a lot more sophisticated. So if you are in the a real estate professional, regardless of whether you're a real estate agent or banker or whoever operates within the commercial real estate space, I would highly encourage you to consider getting your CCIM designation. I'm actively seeking to get my CCIM designation and I plan to have it by next year, which is 2022. So looking forward to doing it. But if you do gain value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It ensures more and more people can hear this message. If you like uh, or are looking to buy commercial real estate here in the Louisville metro area, feel free to reach out to me. I'm a commercial real estate agent in town. I'd be happy to help you kind of make that decision and utilize the skill sets that I've learned from my CCIM coursework in order to better help you in your business. Uh, if you want to do that, my number is 502-536-7315. Or you can reach me via email at raphael at Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.